I am not here to argue that my resume is good, but it did get me my first software engineering internship at Amazon. So let's talk about that. This is the third video that I put out in my software engineering series, so check out the other two if you haven't yet, and if you have, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Josh Beasley, and I am a recent graduate from Yale University where I studied computer science. Now I am active duty military out in LA, and I make videos about college tech and anything else that I'm interested in. All I ask if you're a new viewer, watch this video. If it helps you in any way, shape, or form, hit that subscribe button because I want to spread this information to as many people as possible. And with that, resumes. With tech jobs, I would argue that the resume is probably the single most important factor in determining whether or not you get that first round interview or coding challenge. After you get that phone screening or challenge, I'm really not sure how much recruiters actually value your resume. I'm sure it ties into some of the behavioral questions and stuff that they ask you. But from what I've seen with tech jobs, they really value technical competency over anything else, but you have to get your foot in the door and a resume is how you do that. Unfortunately, college Josh didn't really know what he was doing with his resume. To be honest, I thought if I had a couple good bullets and like made my resume in LaTeX so it would look all fancy, that I would be good to go. Obviously that wasn't the case because out of the 20 or 30 companies that I applied to my junior year, I only ended up hearing back from five, but one of them was Amazon. I'm not looking forward to exposing myself and revealing this old resume and all my naivete, but hopefully it serves as a learning experience for all of us and gives you an idea of what some of these big tech companies are looking for. And it took me over an hour of digging through old documents on my college Google Drive to actually find this resume. Um, so we kind of have to do it at this point. So let's start with the header block. As you can see, I used my full name, Joshua Charles Beasley, um, because I thought it would make me sound more professional. Um, when in reality, you can see in the email and the LinkedIn, I just use what I actually go by. So don't know how much of a purpose that was serving. Next, I included all the information about my education, which is super important. Um, people told me that I shouldn't include my high school because it doesn't really matter, but I thought that section looked really small and awkward without the addition of my high school. And, you know, I could flex that I was a, a national AP scholar and had that 4-0, um, but really don't know how much of a how much of a deal that actually is to recruiters. Also, I feel like with your first like college resumes that you put out to companies, it's you're in this weird gray area where you're like, have I done enough in college to put this on a resume? But also like I did all this crazy stuff in high school that I'm really proud of, but like is that high school stuff too young or not, you know, prestigious enough to put on my college resume. So you're kind of in this weird gray area. So I just decided not to put any high school stuff on my resume other than a couple small things, but who knows. Now that I'm in grad school, I'm definitely getting rid of that high school bullet because it serves no purpose anymore. Um, and you can also see that this resume was written back when, I think around the time that I was debating dropping my electrical engineering major, but I thought I would still include it on this resume since I hadn't, you know, officially dropped it yet. Now moving on to probably the most embarrassing section, experience. Now this is normally where you're supposed to put all of your work experience if you have it, but unfortunately mine was very limited. The big problem with getting your first real internship is that they expect you to have so much experience to get the internship when in reality it's your first internship and you don't have any experience. So it's kind of a catch 22. Fortunately, I had some software experience, but it was really scratching kind of the bottom of the barrel, as you guys can see. First off, I included this part-time job that I worked while I was at school. Um, it was probably the, the most legit thing on this resume. I did in fact code for Yale and the Yale community, building some websites for them about nine hours a week. Unfortunately, though, it was all on Ruby on Rails, which, as you know, is not exactly the, uh, the most popular web framework nowadays. So don't know how marketable those skills were. But experience is experience. Next is an, an internship that I did while I was in high school. Technically, I worked with a MITRE engineer. It was through some high school internship program that we did like the last month of school when we were seniors. Um, but in reality, it was kind of just more me working on my own web development experience teaching myself, working with them a little bit, but yeah, it, I calling it an internship is a stretch. Obviously that's not on my resume anymore, but back then it was like any little thing that I did related to software I wanted to include. And next, I, I don't know why I put this on here, but uh, YouTube creator, because that's what software recruiters are looking for, is people that can sit in front of a camera and make them make a fool of themselves in front of thousands of people. That's, that's, that's a real skill. Like this is completely unrelated and other than the fact that it is somewhat unique and might be memorable to a recruiter, it 
doesn't belong on my resume. Now moving on to the second most important section when it comes to software jobs, and that is your personal projects. For me, I hadn't really taken the time to build any personal projects for myself. And if I had, they were part of a, you know, required final project for a class and I wasn't gonna, you know, put those on there. So I had to rely off of the projects that I worked on in my extracurriculars. Specifically, I was a member of this club at Yale called the Yale Aerospace Association, where each year you, you know, chose to work on a different project and worked on that project for the entire year. And like, to be fair, it was real good, you know, hands-on engineering experience, but to be fair, I was only doing a small part of the engineering on, you know, a bigger project as part of a bigger team. These weren't the worst things I could have included on the resume, but there's not a lot of diversity in the stuff that I worked on. And that kind of became an issue when you get asked behavioral questions where you're asked about working on a team and the different things you worked on. And I pretty much worked on, you know, the software or electronic side of both of these projects for two years. So it was kind of hard to come up with good stories, um, but the descriptions of these, these, these are gold, just straight buzzwords, SolidWorks, Arduino, MATLAB, embedded systems. Oh, and even cosmic ray detector. Yeah, that's what the recruiters want to see. <laughs> Next was skills. Um, this was pretty straightforward. Just listed all the program languages I experienced with, you know, even Racket, because uh, that's useful. Classic Microsoft Office experience there. And uh, of course, foreign languages. Lastly, I included a section on the organizations and leadership experience that I've had because uh, I wanted to cram as many, you know, unique eye-popping extracurriculars that I was a part of into this resume as possible, and they all ended up in this section. Like professional magician and ROTC webmaster. I guess that has some relevancy, but just sounds kind of lame. All I remember is that one of my friends who was also a magician told me that he put magician on his resume, and somebody actually asked him about it in one of his interviews, so I'm like, ha, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, don't know how much of an impact it had, never never really came up in my interview, so. so. This whole section could be renamed, hey there interviewer, ask me about some of this stuff so I can at least appear qualified. Anyways, that pretty much sums up a review of the resume that got me my very first software engineering job at Amazon. As a reminder, my Instagram DMs are always open if you have any personal questions or wanna say hi, uh, so follow me there after you subscribe, of course. And with that, drop a like on this video. It helps me and supports the channel a lot more than you think. And I'll see you next time.